Today we are talking about one little vitamin, and that vitamin is vitamin D. And instead of talking about being deficient in vitamin D, today we're actually gonna be talking about vitamin D toxicity, which is another word for too much vitamin D. Because in recent studies, there have been some interesting discoveries. So it turns out that there have been some errors in the production of vitamin D supplements. And this has resulted in errors in labeling and in manufacturing of this product. And it's caused people to have too much vitamin D in their system, which is almost like an overdose of vitamin D. And surprisingly, this happens quite often in children, although not always, and it can happen to anyone. And when we talk about this overdose, it isn't like being out in the sun for too long because we do get vitamin D from the sun. But this overdose, which is also called that toxicity, it can cause some serious kidney damage. Um, it can also cause damage to our soft tissues like arteries. So this is pretty serious, it's pretty dangerous, and it's important to be aware of. Too much vitamin D affects our calcium levels, and this toxicity can lead to feeling like a loss of appetite, um, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and constipation. And these high calcium levels, which is called hypercalcemia, can lead to a calcium buildup in your arteries, putting you at risk for blood circulation issues. And it also weakens your bones and it creates kidney stones. So the danger of being hypercalcemic can be very serious. You should definitely visit your doctor if you think that this is something that you're suffering from. But just so you know, the best way to treat it is by stopping all vitamin D and calcium supplements. And this is likely what the doctor will tell you to do first. It'll also be important to find out what caused the abundance of vitamin D in your system to make sure that it doesn't happen again. I would check your supplements, check your vitamins, um, anything that you're taking, and maybe switch to a different brand or product if you need to. You will want your doctor to continue to monitor the condition to make sure that there wasn't any permanent kidney damage and make sure that your hypercalcemia is moving in the right direction. An extensive hypercalcemia can lead to kidney failure, so it's gonna be really important to watch those kidneys. Blood tests can test for the amount of calcium in your blood, so that will likely be something that you'll need to do a few times in order to monitor the condition with your doctor. The last thing you'll need to do is watch what you're eating and drinking. So it's gonna be really important here to not only stop the supplements, but also cut down on how much calcium you're getting from foods and drinks in your diet. You're gonna wanna avoid milk and any dairy products, um, including milk-based protein powders like whey and casein protein. You'll also want to avoid certain nuts and seeds, beans and legumes, because they can be high in calcium as well. And then make sure that you're drinking plenty of water because this can help with calcium levels and can also help prevent any formation of kidney stones that may have started to occur or you've been at higher risk for with that hypercalcemia. All right, so that is all I have for you today. Make sure to keep an eye on those vitamin D supplements. And if you think you are maybe at risk for hypercalcemia or high vitamin D, talk to your doctor and see what they can help you with. All right, that's everything for today, you guys. I'll see you soon, be well.